We're continuing example two from section 6.4 on logarithmic functions. We're on part C. We're using the properties of logs that we've learned so far to simplify this or evaluate our um, expression without a calculator. So here we have six raised to the power of log base six of three plus log base six of five. So we can combine those two logs in that exponent. When we add, that means we write it as a product. Three times five is 15, right? And then we have a property that says a to the log base a of m is just equal to m, so this is 15. Okay, in this expression we have e to the log base e of 25, so that's essentially where we were here, so this is just equal to 25. Okay. Example three, we want to practice writing expressions as a sum or difference of logs. So breaking it out into either a sum or a difference, uh, whatever is implied there. So in this case, we have log base A of, this is like an M times N situation. And just for domain purposes, they tell us X is greater than one. But what we need to do now is write this as a sum or difference. So which would it be since we have a product here? Will it be a sum or a difference? It will be a sum. So this will be the log base, log base three of m plus the log base three of n. And then it says we won't be done until we have expressed all powers as factors. So what does that mean? That means when we have a power, we have to change it to a factor, okay? So this will be equal to, so we saw that before with log base A of M to the R, and the R came around, became a factor. So we have log base three of X minus one plus two times the log base three of X plus two, right? So that's returning us to um, which property? The number look back at seven okay where the power becomes a factor so that's number seven is what brings that around okay um, let's look at the next one so this one we have an m over n so this one's going to be a difference so this will be the log base five of x squared y cubed minus the log base five. And I'm not gonna write that square root of z, I'm going to use one half power because we wanna get rid of radicals when we deal with our logs. Okay, I would be done, but look, I still have an m times n right here. So I haven't completely, um, um, uh, I haven't completely um, broken this down into sums and difference, differences. So this will be the log base five of x squared plus the log base five of y cubed minus the log base five of z to the one half. And finally, express all powers as factors using property seven, number seven. This is two times the log base five of x plus three times the log base five of y minus one half times the log base five of z. So we're really just breaking these logs apart. Now, this is really just practice for what we'll, um, uh, to get our understanding, but the main thing we're going to be doing to solve log equations, I hope you could, did I get that off the screen? I'm afraid I did. Let's see if we can get this fixed. Okay, maybe we should run back through that one a little bit, but we had m over n, so it was subtraction, log m minus n. Don't know why that is so hard to see. Okay, reflection. And then we had an m times n, so we wrote log base five of m plus log base five of n. We still had this, 
Recall we changed the square root to a, a half power. Then we took each exponent and rewrote it as a factor as we saw for property number 7. So that, now we're finally done. So in example 4, this is what we're primarily going to be doing, taking an equation, this isn't an equation, it's an expression, but we will eventually have equations with two logs in it and write it as a single log. We'll need to do that to solve it. So we have log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of x minus 3, so that would be log base 2 of x times x minus 3, m times n. And it just depends. I mean, if you, you could go ahead and write that as log base 2 of x squared minus 3x. Distribute that x. OK, for the next one, this is subtraction. But notice we have 3 times and 2 times. If you look back at, at the property that involved subtraction, you can't have a multiplier out front. So the first thing we have to do is change the power, I mean, sorry, the factor to a power. Log base 6 of z cubed minus log base 6 of y squared. Now we have log minus log. When you have log minus log, then you can write it as a quotient. Log base 6 of m z cubed over n y squared. Okay, and then our final one, we have addition and subtraction. So I'm going to do this first, write that as a product, and then I'll bring this one in and write as a quotient. But first, I have to make this a power. So I have the natural log of x minus 2 plus the natural log of x to the 1 half power minus, and I'll go ahead and do the same here with this 5, the natural log of x plus 3 to the fifth. So first, get, rid, get all those factors out of the way. Now, this will be a product. That's the natural log of x to the 1 half times x minus 2 or x minus 2 times x to the 1 half, however you want to do that. Okay, minus the natural log of x plus 3 to the fifth. Okay, and now we have subtraction. So this is log of m minus log of n equals log of m over n, right? So m is x to the 1 half times x minus 2 n is x plus 3 to the fifth. So I've taken these three terms that have natural log in them and written it as one single log here. 